What is up everybody? So in this video today, we're gonna go over the Experian Credit Boost. How it works, how you sign up for it, and does it actually help for you? So stick around and we'll get right into it. Welcome back everybody to my channel that is all about making you money, retiring early, and hitting that financial freedom that we all dream about. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I know you want to. So let's just get right into it. Let's talk about the Experian Credit Boost. So what is it? It is a program that Experian has put out to help you boost your credit score by including your monthly payments that you're already making. So things like your Netflix, your TV, your internet, your water bill, your electric bill, your gas bill, everything. Everything that you have a monthly payment to, you can have added to your Experian credit report. And if you're making payments on time every month, consistently, it'll make you look good. It shows that you're reliable, that you're paying your bills. So the question is, does it help you? And how can you sign up? How does the whole system work? Well, let me tell you, I just did it myself yesterday and it's pretty quick, pretty simple and very straightforward to sign up for. So you go, you Google search Experian credit boost, and then you're going to click on the first link that comes up that brings you to the Experian webpage. There you just click the sign up. It's going to ask you for some info or if you already have an Experian account you just sign in. Once you put in all your info it's going to bring you to a page where it asks you to input your bank account and your credit account. Any of your credit cards that you use to pay your monthly bill. So you go ahead and you go in, you enter in your login information for those banks and those accounts. They don't get full access. They only get read access to your, your bank statements. So don't worry. Uh, from there, Experian will scan through your last three months of statements. And it's looking for things that you make every month payments on, on the same date. Now, it's not foolproof. It might miss some things. So you can actually go in afterwards and say, Experian, you missed some things. Let me enter that in. And then you can go ahead, click, 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 enter it in manually. What's nice is it's fairly automated. I put in my two accounts, my checking account and my credit card account that both make my monthly payments for all my bills. And it pulled out the ones that I've consistently paid on the same date. Now I have bills that I don't pay uh, consistently on the same date because I manually pay them usually before their due dates. So Experian didn't pick those up. So that's how you sign up. It's pretty quick, pretty simple. It pulls all your information into their system. The problem is, one, it doesn't boost your credit score if you don't make payments on time. It won't even pick them up from your, your checking account or your credit card account. Two, the other problem is it's not foolproof. It won't pick up everything if you're doing manual payments on random days. So you have to manually enter those types of entries. Uh, three, the main problem is it only boosts your Experian credit score, not your TransUnion, not your Equifax. So it doesn't help you there. But if you have a lower credit score and you're consistently making payments on your normal monthly bills, it can help you. Me, it didn't really help me all that much because I went from a seven, 67 to a 770. It only boosted me three points. Only three points. It's because I only had three accounts that it picked up and it wasn't for that much history. I move around a lot so it didn't pick the, so I have new accounts all the time. And most of my payments, my gas, my water, my electric, it all goes through my leasing company so they don't pick that up in regular monthly payments. So my only account that Experian noticed was my cell phone, my uh, uh, electric account, 
and my, what was the last one? My internet bill. It only picked up those three. Um, you can enter things like Netflix and Hulu if you have those. You can mainly enter those. So it's, it's decent. I only got three point boost, but Experian claims that some people get up to a 50 point boost if they're able to import a lot of their accounts that they're already paying. Again, it's only Experian though. So do I recommend you trying it out? Maybe. If you already have a high credit score, I wouldn't bother. If you're above a 7, probably a 720, I wouldn't really bother. Uh, if you're above an 800, I definitely wouldn't bother with it. But if you're in the 600s and you're consistently making these payments, try it out. You can improve your Experian credit score and that helps you out on one of the three bureaus. So check it out. It might help you. Again, do your research on this. You might not feel comfortable with giving Experian the login info for your bank accounts and your credit card accounts. So you have to weigh those, those consequences and those risks. Some credit bureaus, as if you know what I'm talking about, have been hacked before and so nothing is truly safe out there. People can get your info no matter what. What I do recommend though, when you're in your Experian, your Equifax, your TransUnion accounts, freeze your credit scores. Freeze your credit reports. It's free and it is a great tool to use to protect yourself. So go in, freeze your accounts, and if you ever need to apply for a credit card, a, a mortgage, a loan, anything, it takes two minutes to go in and unfreeze your credit reports. You just have to make sure you remember your pins. If you don't remember your pin, you're gonna screw yourself. Uh, and then it unfreeze it, do the credit pull that you need to do, and then refreeze them. It protects you and it's free. It's not perfect protection, but it's better than nothing. It's better than being exposed. So I recommend freezing your credit accounts too. So should you check out the Experian Credit Boost? Yes. I think you should. I think everyone should. It's like free money, free credit points. Do it. Try it out. Check it out. Make the decision for yourself though. I'm a YouTuber. You shouldn't be listening to me for perfect financial advice. It's just my opinion. So my opinion is you should check it out. If you need to speak to someone about money, check with a CPA or a CFP. I'm neither of those. Finally, hit the subscribe button or else, or else, I don't know. It would be cool though, I'd love to have more subscribers. But if you don't wanna hit the subscribe button, think about hitting the like button instead because that helps the YouTube algorithm and that helps me help more people on their financial freedom journey and trying to retire early. And if you wanna see my journey of trying to retire early and my path to financial freedom, hit the subscribe button still because then you get notified every single time I upload a video and you might miss the next golden nugget that comes out of my channel. So as always, leave a comment down below and I will see you guys and gals next time.